Oh, I love me some Kiki. Yeah. Love. And her mm-hmm. mom body. Hey, yikes. <laughs> Fill it in, girl. We love it over here. Yeah. She look good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was telling people, like, because it was like, why can't you say nothing before? I was like, because uh, before, you kind of regular. You know, kind of regular. Pop that baby out. Niggas, look at this girl now. Niggas literally look like before. Now, it was like, look yeah. and looking now. I yeah, feel. like before it was like, ah, oh, she funny, she talented. That's Kiki. Now, it's, yeah, we all know who she is. Right now, yeah. she's like, ooh, KK. Oh. Like, he ain't take. He ain't treating you right. <laughs> it went from okay. like, ah, oh, you funny too. He ain't treating you right. Like, come on home with me. What's Kiki real first name? I don't know. I know Kiki's like her middle name or some shit. Yeah, who knows? Her mama probably. <laughs> who? Lauren. Lauren. It is Lauren. Lauren Kiana Palmer. Yep. There you go, Kiki for sure. Okay. okay. I, I want to go by um Lauren. I don't I'm think go you. by Kiana. Yeah, not, I don't think Kiki fit her no more. <laughs> No, them big mom titties. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? Love me? <laughs> It's so long, I forget what I say. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Okay, because I know we've been gone for a little minute, but welcome back to the Tequila and Champagne podcast. What's up? It's Shay Ron. Say what's up to my co-host, Pablo. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy Pablo, aka Grandma's favorite grandson, aka the bearded wonder, aka Pod's gift, Pod boss, the Pod father, aka LL Cool J, James Pod Smith, all them shits. More AKAs than H. You know, see, it's been that long. More AKAs than the HBCU. Pinkies up. <laughs> what does that mean, anyway? Pinkies up. The AKAs. They throw the pinkies up when they salute each other. Oh. Like, <laughs> Let me put them down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every time oh. you see an AKA with a picture of each other, they're like, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. No disrespect to y'all, AKAs. You know what I'm saying? Like, good for y'all. But it's all about them deltas for me. So, yeah. Okay. Like, that's the one I want to throw up. Not the- Yo, it ain't cool as hell. <laughs> Like when it's like four deltas and they got it's all each other. Oh my name, God, like, I love it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, y'all niggas in here. Go whole gang. Okay, I see y'all okay. niggas. Okay. Shout out to my auntie. She a delta. Um, but yeah, damn, it has been a long time. Yes. Yeah. Like, shit can happen in life. Damn near a month or some shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Cause I <laughs> they used to that though. Huh? Comedy. They used to that. So they know us. They know our heart. Yeah, I would never feel bad. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't saying none of that. I was just saying we've been we've been out, mm-hmm. you know, and here we are. <laughs> we are here. But yeah, I feel like y'all should be interested, maybe mm-hmm. even excited a little mm-hmm. bit about this mm-hmm. episode. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I no, am. no promo either, y'all. y'all. Y'all know how we do. We don't promote none of the topics. Uh. Uh-uh. But we don't know the topic to the day of, nigga. <laughs> no, but this one's been brewing a little, yeah. a little bit. We've been yeah. waiting. We've been waiting for this one, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, know what I'm like? What? People asking us when are we going back to uh, cracking the code? They want, they want, they want a couple of more. Okay, we can definitely crack the code. <laughs> Shit, I said that like three times today. All right. I guess we're supposed to do that. No, we can definitely go back to cracking the code, which I want to hear a conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. Or do y'all want us to like crack the code on a specific person? It's, or some people they said we do true crime in a cool way. I love crime. Yeah. So yeah. I guess we, we can do a true crime. We can, yeah. we can bust it down. 
Like y'all, y'all tell us which one y'all wanted to do. Yeah, definitely let us know. Like if you want something that's like unsolved or I ain't, I ain't doing Marilyn Monroe. I just let you know that now. Y'all better not pick her ass. I'm not doing her. Why? Because everybody done done her. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, everybody done done her. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like the most recent one that I watched like a trailer for. Mm-hmm. It could have been old, but it literally was detail of shit I had never heard. I have watched every documentary, every readaptation, every Marilyn Monroe movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. I watched all that shit. But this one was like talking about how she didn't kill herself, how it, it was just a lot. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that. Mm-hmm. Um what is the fascination with Marilyn Monroe? Mm, I think it's because she's complex. Okay. So it's like there's so much to her that nobody knows anything about. Yeah, y'all feel like y'all know a lot. That's cool, but like that's one or maybe two specific sides. But other than that, like, yeah. And then of course, at the time, how she looked and all of that mm. definitely played a part. So mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoever, well, damn, y'all don't have like a lot of Mexicans over there, but we got we definitely got a lot we, of we got some. We got okay. Some. Have you ever seen like how some um, Mexicans like portray Marilyn Monroe? Yes, very much so. She Mexican. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, Marilyn Monroe Mexican. She Mexican. Well, we might have to do Marilyn Monroe then because I didn't even fucking know that. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I just learned something. You know how long it's been since I learned something? You're welcome. Okay, because I got to meet you where you at and then elevate the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to be sitting somewhere in silence and waiting on people to come ask me questions. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing it. Like, <laughs> got you a, a whole guru out here. I got the answers. Okay. <laughs> Do I always practice what I preach? Fuck no. I like to live my life. I don't think but. any guru practices what they preach. I think they just they just say that shit and y'all just go about your business. Sounds Cause good. Because we, we don't see them after they tell us what we're supposed to be doing. So who knows you what should. they know? You shouldn't see them. See? You shouldn't. I wouldn't want to be seen after that either. Okay, like what the, the guru like, yo, leave, leave the bitches alone. And then two days later, you catch this nigga in the strip club like, tossing dollars and shit. Like, you don't want to yeah. see that. I said you lead them right. Bitches, okay, because <laughs> these my bitches. Right. Like, I, leave the bitches alone. Okay, and, they and cute because he's costing the money that you donated. <laughs> Can't forget about the bitches. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got something for me? You I do. Speaking of me. somebody we haven't seen in a very long time. Oh. So we have a new uh, photo of my man's. I already don't know. Oh, gosh. That was the right place to make then. <laughs> yeah, body double. <laughs> they say uh, Jamie Foxx seems to be in good health. But they have a picture of this nigga stunt double this whole time. I'm not surprised. Um, so he must definitely be working on another movie, mm-hmm. which is good to hear. Yeah. He is... Uh, he was in Chicago not too long ago. Some lady dropped her purse. He stopped his car, picked up the purse, and handed it to her, and then pulled off. Who? That, the body double? No, Jamie Foxx. It was actually. Jamie Foxx ain't how about his car. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the video. I wish I had the video. But yeah, it. it Did it show his face? It showed his face. That ain't it showed him. it. Big round ass head, all that shit. Like, he don't look like this nigga at all. Like, who. Whatever movie he in right here, this ain't this ain't gonna be him. Like he don't look like that shit at all. Like his hair is low again. Like you can see his tattoo in the back of his head. Okay, I you know what? And I love me some Jamie Fox. I'm talking about like deep love for Jamie mm-hmm. Fox. Okay, um, but like this latest photo that I that they said was him. I was mm-hmm. like, nigga, that's a clone. Y- yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't like that. Yeah. And it's surprising if he is doing well that he has not said that himself. Yeah, I, 
It is. I'm saying that I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just right. saying it is surprising. It, that's what's messing me up. Because normally celebrities get on live or they do a story real quick. Hey, y'all, thanks for the prayers. Da, 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 da. We appreciate it. We ain't heard anything. One thing we heard from was his daughter. That's it. No, we heard from a lot of people. <laughs> okay. This people nigga that like matter. Him. Like them other niggas is like, oh, he dead. This nigga done died last week. They, they, they killed this nigga all like seven times already. What's the formula, Jamie? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then his daughter no. told yeah, he at home playing pickleball. The nigga was Googling pickleball. Niggas didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Like, but cash bracket when you at home playing pickleball. Nigga, nigga, nobody does that at their house. But I think if, like other people have said some things, like some nice things about mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx or whatever, but like it all sounds so scripted. It does. It does. And then all his friends on Twitter, like, we're praying for my brother. Like, they haven't seen him. Like, yeah. That's, that's an oddity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that, but that is not the best. Um, I mean, maybe a great stunt double, but like, right. He looked old to me. Like, this nigga, I don't know what movie that is. This nigga, he looked like maybe his brother or something in the movie. That ain't him. You know what I'm saying, little brother? Yeah. Okay, maybe favorite baby cousin that just happened to look like you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they wild out with that. So. Yeah, I don't like that. All right. I don't like that <laughs> you ain't gonna like this at all. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. Like, no, nah, it's not about that though. But you got some, for because it. I want these people to know how you slept with my brother. Whoop de doo. Everybody knew except you. So what that say about you though? What's type what type of girl that say about you? What you mean? Niggas what you mean? Boys, guys go, why can I do it? But you fuck my brother though. Okay. <laughs> like, what you want, a cookie? Like, but we got kids, you my baby mom. Okay, I don't owe you no loyalty. What you mean you owe me no loyalty? We got a whole kid and I I'm pay the bills. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm a baby mom. I owe you no loyalty. I used to owe the loyalty. I don't owe you nothing now. Yeah, but I pay the bills in here. It doesn't matter. He paid them with you. Ain't nobody paid nothing with me. I just he dropped did. off 2500 $2, over here the other day. And he dropped off five bands. Who, who dropped off but, 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 what that, what that, but what that say you about you as a woman, though? Rent. It's light, food, kid got to eat. You're not providing. Yeah, but we was together for five years. Like, okay. why, like why you think it's Time okay to, to fuck my brother, though? Time don't mean nothing. Time ain't nothing but a number that can change. I'm just saying, though, like, that's that's crazy that you feel like it's an idol. And, I, and I'm going to let the whole world know that you fuck my brother. Okay, you can't expose me, though. No, 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 but I'm, I'm, I'm going to expose you with this video, though. Okay, that you fuck you, my brother, though. Thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the gag is. No, no, no. You're gonna look stupid because you're trying to expose me. No, no, I'm not gonna look stupid. You're gonna look stupid because we got a whole two year old together and you fucked my brother. Okay, the two year old wasn't here when it happened. Why does it matter? But I'm just saying, though, but like, what was the point of that, though? Like, what you get out of that, though? Like, you have no self respect for yourself. You have no self respect for yourself. See, this show that you're really childish and you're not, you're not mature at all in no mature? type of way, though. I'm very mature. No, nah, you're not, though. You, like you really, you really, you're really nothing. Nah, but you're nothing though. You're nothing though. You slept. And you're really a whore though. You're really a whore. How about that? That's okay. If you yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you have no respect for yourself. You think so? No respect for yourself. You I'm, slept with my brother though. I'm glad your brother don't think that of me. No, no, no. It's, it's not about that though. It's just, I, and, I, and I'm gonna have some words with him too. But it's like why you don't even. Nah, because like I just don't understand why you don't think about things. Like think about how I would what feel. Think about. I don't care about how you feel. Your your feelings got nothing to do with me. Go find somebody who care. Find somebody who gives. I don't care. That's crazy. So stop recording me and get out. That's crazy, though. I treated you so you good. You came here for your son. No, no, no but I, tr I treated you, you so good. When we was together, I treated you so good, though. And why are we not together? No I treated you so... Listen, I treated why you so... Why are we not together? Because you cheated. Right. That clearly means I didn't care that you treated me that I'm just good. saying, though, like, we was together for stop five years. I'm not simping. I'm just saying, though, like, you really, you really hurt, my, you hurt my feelings you with this, though. You embarrassing yourself. You had sex What's with my brother. You had sex with my brother, though. Okay, yeah. And you think this is a, a game? Like you really hurt my feelings with this, okay, though. Hey, stop being. Like, I, I was such a good dude to you. Like, why would you okay. do this to me, though? Why would be simple to somebody that don't care? But why would you do this to me, though? I did nothing wrong to you. I pay the bills in your house still and everything. You're stupid. You're embarrassing. Like you don't even care that you fuck my brother. You embarrassing. Like how don't you care about that, though? You embarrassing. I'm asking yourself. you a question, though. And I'm like, so, so you don't feel no way about doing what you I did. Feel you serious? You think of the dog you see me laughing? 
That's crazy, man. All right, well, play with your son. That's why you're here. No, I'm here to get my son. I'll hurry up for your brother to come. As a matter of fact, what? Hurry up and leave so your brother can come over. He's waiting on man, you. Stop playing with me, man. Can you leave my stop brother with fire? Stop playing with me. Don't get burned with fire. Go for it. Man, stop playing. Stop playing with me. See, that's why you're about to burn yourself now. You're not burning nothing. See what I mean? You are stop right playing with me, though, man. That was impressive. <laughs> Uh, thoughts? <laughs> um, that's how people get missing. Having a conversation like that and her reaction to that conversation. <clears throat> because he meant every fucking word that he said out of his mouth and she did too. And they're at an impasse at this point. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Uh. Shit. Yeah. Um. At first, I was like, "Oh, it's fucked up," but as it progressed, and the levels of zero fucks kept rising, like I was like, "Yeah, bro, you you just left. You could have just left. Like you you didn't need that." Um. Yeah, and he's what not a good. You're not exposing her like she don't care. So there's no exposing when the person don't care. Um, me personally, I would do my best since he is dropping off twenty five hundred to her to get my son, and so I don't have to deal with her at all. Like I can just go get my son and then move on with it. Um, me and my brother we had to have a con uh, conversation out back. We going to have a conversation. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. That nigga said we got like, she said she, we got two year old, and she's like, yeah, they weren't there when I was fucking. That nigga, mm -hmm. I, I would have cried if I was in, I was in the room. I would have cried, <laughs> like real fucking tears that came out my eyes. Like you know, she really said that shit. But yeah, what you think? yeah, I think there's definitely more to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm just kind of wondering like why they wasn't exposing that part. Yeah. But I also understand that people get to a certain point where they don't feel like talking about the same shit over and over again. So it is clear that this nigga will ask the same question over mm -hmm. and over and over and over again. You get in the same response so many different ways. Each and every one is more crushing than the last one. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm wondering what that nigga needed. What do yeah. you need? Like, do you want to be back with her? Like, it's obviously she want to be with you, but like, I don't think he could like be okay with the fact that she don't want him no more for whatever reasons. I don't think she want the kid. I I think that just happened because they were together. Oh no, you went too far. Yeah, I like, can't say she ain't want the kid or not. I know that that's the way she it's, said she didn't care. He was like, he was, was she was like, why are we not together now? Say like, because you cheated. She said, okay then. So nigga, she been on that time. I don't think she wants say to that. I wouldn't say that she's been on a time. Like, that's where it's like, I want to make an opinion. But again, mm -hmm. I also understand that people get to a point where they don't give a fuck what you say. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to start agreeing with you. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. Now what? You know? So I don't know. I think it's just way too much more to it. But it is possible that that baby not his. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Her brothers, well, I was thinking was, about percentages. The percentage, the percentage says, went up as she was talking. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, I dropped those 2500 Okay. And your brother dropped out 5000 So Why? You see what I'm saying? Like, why? Why Why is your brother doing that? I don't know. The pussy got to be bomb. It, it, something. It's like, got to be. This nigga doing a trick. Watch out with the girls shit. with the flat noses because shit. <laughs> Bye bye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she had an Audi too. Boy, you better watch out. Them girls the Audi. <laughs> oh, that's a thing for y'all. Yeah, that's a it's thing. Weird for me. <laughs> All right, here go another one. I can't even see my belly button. It's like so deep in there. Yeah, mine too. I'm trying to see that. <laughs> Over hype singers.
in the air There's magic everywhere When you're young and in love Life seems to be Valentine Sweet comic Valentine Pick all three of the fellas out for me. That's all. <laughs> like, the ladies I know can sing in real life, but the some fellas, I, no, I'm not. I'm not. No. Oh, so you thought Gina was just singing? Not right there, but I've heard Gina sing before. So have I. Have you heard Gina sing lately? Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm still here, here, here. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. You like that song? Okay. I like, uh, it's Gina, bitch. <laughs> it's Gina, bitch. <laughs> no. No. Okay. It was always Pam for me. Uh, it, yeah, uh, it, but the fellas is just trash, though. I didn't. I must have missed that episode of uh, Family Matters because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when was Eddie singing? When was Darius McCrary using his high voice? Like when was I? Never seen that episode. I feel yeah, like yeah, he wanted to meet her, so he act him and Waldo act like uh, there was bellhops in the hotel, and they went and he went to her room, and she was there. He just started singing. And That's then, no, nope, nobody calls security. He just turns the music up, and they just start singing to each other. No, I'm glad I missed that one. <laughs> I feel like I've seen it before, but I'm glad it's blocked out of my memory. Mm -hmm. That's not very. That is yeah. creepy. That is mm -hmm. not okay. Not at all. Get not the fuck all. out of my room. Yeah, right. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. Matter of fact, I think. Yeah, because she was trying to get the note. She said, I can't hit the note for some reason. I'm off tonight. And they turned the music on, and this nigga starts singing. She started singing. Then all of a sudden, she hit the note. So, yeah, that's what that whole shit was. That whole shit sounded like a porno. Uh-huh. With the manager sitting in the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, yeah. Uh, everybody stressed me. Fuck it. All six of them? Yeah, everybody go. Yeah, Jaleesa was wild with the... <gasps> Yeah, that was that. What? First of all, you singing the wrong national anthem, but me, me, we ain't gonna go there with that. But and the home. <laughs> <laughs> the what, y'all? Okay, Kyle. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, I <laughs> almost started choking. I remember <laughs> all of Kyle's scenes, okay? Bruh. Especially that funny Valentine one, but like, I remember all that nigga scenes. Yeah. Right, and I had to argue with niggas on Instagram. It was like, no, Kyle was killing it. I'm like, no, nigga. Kyle was killing it. Bruh, in 96, 97, 98, nigga, that shit still sounded trash, bro. You know what? Ears have changed. Yeah. Years. That is true. But I wasn't yeah. feeling none of it. <laughs> <laughs> chugga, 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 choo, choo, nigga. Listen. <laughs> Stop that. Thomas the engine head ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, engine that could. Right. Okay. I'm going to tell you too, man. <laughs> and you got the draws off of that. Come on, Max. You better than that. God yeah. Damn. Mm. I like them together though. Yeah, that was it, it was supposed to happen, but not because of that. This nigga got the draws off of the pretty Valentine and no. Accents happen. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready to transition us into 
Yeah, I got, I got one more video before we go there. Oh, bonus one video. Uh, one more. I need some champagne. A bank statement in the mail or, or with an account that I don't know nothing about. First of all, don't come in here yelling at me about no account. I have an account to make sure I'm good. That's why the account is there. Why are you taking money out of account while I don't know? You are my husband. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm not. If we uh, were to ever get divorced, I'm not about to be out here with nothing. We got to make sure we good. You this don't got nothing to do with you sitting taking money out of account that I work hard you. for. Do you not work for us? Are we not a family? You want? Don't this you want is working good? for you. This ain't working for no, us. It is. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm a woman. If, I, if you were to leave me, I need to be okay. What is the problem? You need to be a problem. Okay. You're the no, what's wrong with Chris? Listen, check this out. At the end of the day, you can account for that. I was already struggling. I have to make sure I'm good. I can't. I can't. I'm not about to argue with you about money. You are self -hatoned. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Everything I've done for us. Are you serious? You mad because I'm putting everything you've done for who? Everything you've done for me. I'm the one working. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't feel like she's wrong. That's, I that's feel what like saying. what's wrong is that he found out. I, I can't even allow it. <laughs> you went somewhere else. So everybody else said what she did is right. It was the execution. Like mm -hmm. if he gave her money, like an allowance, she could put her money. Yeah, I know. Sounds weird. But some mm -hmm. niggas do that. They give their girls allowances. I get it. That's cool. I wish I had right. one. <laughs> they, if she put that away and got twenty two thousand, cool. But it seems to be that this nigga just took twenty two off the cuff. And was like, move this over here, just in case I have to leave this nigga. There's a lot to that. Yeah. Oh yeah. When yeah, women yeah. are making a stash, like you should be worried. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. in my head now, I'm thinking there's more accounts. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking there's more. I'm not that's not just one. That's just one I found. I'm thinking there's more now. Now we gotta go Don't to the bank. Think too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, your your stocks will go back up. Look, um, I really don't. Only reason why I don't see nothing wrong with it is because I feel like it's more to it. Oh, um, she's literally trying to protect herself in case of emergency. But if everything is going well, why it, do she that? that? She didn't say that. She said just in case. She didn't say yeah. like you did this or this happened. I don't want this to happen again. She's saying I, I look out for me. Exactly. So I don't have to tell you. You could do something and I don't say nothing. But then she says, We're a family, we're a team. You can't say that. And then said that. that. She said that. Yes. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, never mind. I was at the end. More. She's like, We a family. Okay, family. So put my fucking money back. <laughs> <laughs> All he needs to do is like decrease her access to whatever accounts that she's on but i just i don't know you That's get married joint accounts bullshit oh. not i said the fly i feel like we didn't have this conversation we did have this conversation we doing it ain't no fucking way i have multiple accounts that you'll know nothing about mm -hmm. ever yeah what's mine is mine then why get married if you do that what do you mean get married and about sharing money for me? I could have a stay at home nigga. Okay. Like I'm not, it's not the money. Okay. <laughs> I've already dealt with niggas that have money that went about shit, you know? Right. But no, and I ain't about shit. Like let's say you have a stay at home nigga, right? Mm -hmm. And you get married. Yeah. In house dick. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's me you talking to. Right. I, I know. That's why I'm, I'm trying to word it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is he doing? If you go to work and come home, what does he do? No, I, I mean, just reverse the roles. So clean up the house, cook the food, everything. Da, 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 da. He needs money. Okay. What you need? So you was going to hand, you just going to peel him off whatever he needs. You need an allowance? 
What's you need? Yo. What's you trying to buy? You want to surprise me with something? Or yeah, what well, you want to surprise you with something? I can't ask you for some fucking money and I then go do it. Well, then figure out how to fucking make money from home. It surprised me. I should have to tell you how to do everything. Or or joint account. You can pull out a couple hundred dollars. You're, you're not joining anything with me. This is my account that I am giving you access to. If you if you don't have if you're not putting in, what am I joining for? Okay, and I get your ATM card. What if he works from home? Okay, work from home then. And then put money in the account. Can he take money out the account? Out of his, for fucking sure. He can do whatever he like with his money. Mm -mm. No, I feel like certain things will be definitely set in stone, like taking care of bills type shit. Mm -hmm. Um, because that's I guess the main reason why people have joint accounts. I don't fucking know why people have joint accounts. I think it's fucking stupid. But you know, um. <laughs> I just, I literally cannot see myself doing that. So this is what I've seen. Yeah. In, in marriage couples. They'll have a joint account. Mm -hmm. And they'll both have a separate account. Okay, yeah. So they'll do what they have to do. And it's like, we need this amount of money for the bills. That goes into the joint account. And then they have a separate account for whatever they need to do. That's mm -hmm. what normally happens. Mm-hmm. She look like she don't go nowhere. She look like she's a real housewife of she's the land of Vegas. That's what she looks like. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. So she may not have an account or the account she has is pr prior to meeting this nigga. So she probably got like $30 in there or something. I don't know. This nigga gave her access. And when you give somebody access to something, you ought to set some rules like there would be no need for you to like get upset. Like I don't understand. It she may have been moving like a little money here and there, and the nigga wasn't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you know maybe once this was some commas in those transactions, that's probably like after a while he probably noticed, and now right. it's the issue. So that's probably why she's so confused. Like Nick, what? Huh? You know. But I mean, I don't know. She been to but when you get married <laughs> to somebody, you trust them. So I'm trusting you not to do no foul shit like this. That's dumb. You need to talk about it. You need to talk about it. It may not have crossed your mind because mm -hmm. of trust, but at the same time, like you're giving somebody access to share with them. Yeah. If you don't do nothing and I take care of everything, I really don't owe you shit. That, that's what he said to at the end. He's like, what well, all I do? She's like, he's like, what do you do? Like, I do everything. Now, if that nigga do everything, like I would definitely feel some type of way. Because yeah. it's like, damn, you really don't do nothing. Um, so she probably got another nigga on the side. I don't know. It was plenty of I, I, I would think so. Yeah, she paying somebody bills. <sighs> Couldn't be me though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up that access. I don't like that feeling. I've given access to my account before mm -hmm. and the same situation happened I look up get a notification about what a nigga has taken from me not asked not none of that just yeah so it will that shit will never happen to me again I will never do that shit again will I play joint account with you mm -hmm. <laughs> name it no nah, nah, nah. mm -hmm. I put some money in a jar is that, is that cool I, put some money I, in I, I don't see why not because you can okay, just I can, I can do that because you can deposit the money like if you just put it in a... but then you living like drug dealers at this point like you come home peel off t -t 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 -t, boom put it in the box I like drug dealers so <laughs> I'm fine with that uh, <laughs> yeah I couldn't I would never uh, no that makes me sad <laughs> All right, uh, madam, tell these people uh, the drink that is uh, the sponsor for this next segment. I'll tell y'all what got me lit. Okay, some people like it, some don't, but this is just right for me. I am drinking Stella Rosa Black, which is a red wine, semi sweet and sparkling. You just drinking <laughs> wine and not eating anything with it. What you supposed to eat with wine? I ain't got no cheese. 
Red wine is like beef and shit. I'm a, I think beef. I'm allergic to beef. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So you a pescatarian? I would love to be a pescatarian. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I'm done with chicken too. Like I'm tired. I'm just tired of shit. We all start bringing out the zebras. Like, let me know. But yeah, I'm done with beef. It like literally makes me sick, and I have to like prepare my body for it if I'm gonna eat a burger at a cookout. So, yeah. Yeah, I gotta make sure I take some black seed or Otherwise, like I'll wake up the next day and my nose will be running like a motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, ain't that fucking nasty snotting yeah. all day? Just be talking in that snot drip like yeah. you ever had. With yuck. Yeah. So we was watching a uh, cooking show called uh, Out Chef, yeah. where a home chef who has no TV experience whatsoever goes against somebody who's been on TV forever, mm-hmm. and they had to cook ostrich. And yeah. huh? Ostrich no, the meat, the ostrich oh. meat. So there was um, the host had to go out into the street and ask people, "Do you want to try ostrich?" Mm-hmm. Niggas is like, fuck you. I'm keeping walking. Yeah, it took me a while to find three people to be like, yeah, I'll try the ostrich. I really want to ask their race, but I feel like it's so inappropriate. <laughs> um the black there's a black lady and I think two white two white people and an Asian lady. Okay. Yeah. I would be that black lady. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely try some would you though? Yeah, of course. Of course. Now, if you say egg, I'd be like, no. But he's like, ostrich meat? Yeah, I'll try that. You don't want no big ass ostrich egg omelet? I do. Oh. <laughs> that motherfucking yolk so big. Matter of fact, can y'all hard boil this bitch and make me some salad? Like, this nigga, yeah. And just a bite or two of an egg that big? Hard boil <laughs> ostrich egg. If y'all yeah. like, to see Shay eat a hard-boiled ostrich egg at the live show. Please, put it in the comments below. We will get one for her, okay? Yes! And I'm going to bring some lemon pepper seasoning and put that bitch on that. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, this uh, this this uh, segment here mm-hmm. is brought to us by, uh, what was it again? Stella Rosa Black. Stella Rosa Black. Um, mm-hmm. uh, with no meat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about the laws of attraction. Mm. Mm. Uh, twin got excited when I when I brought this to her. Yeah. And we, we've been putting this off for a while. I, it's been on my list for a minute. So We was out. We was doing stuff. Now we're back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what is the law of attraction, sis? You asking me? Yeah, I want your opinion on what you think it is, and I'll tell you what they have written down. <sighs> okay. Um, I think the law of attraction is mm, similar to like manifesting mm-hmm. visually. Yep. <laughs> that, nigga, that's it. You ain't got to say shit else. Okay. Um, the law of attraction is the philosophy suggesting that positive thoughts bring positive results into a person's life, while mm-hmm. negative thoughts bring negative outcomes. It is based on the belief that thoughts are a form of energy and mm-hmm. that positive energy attracts success in all areas of life, including health, finances, and relationships. Yes, y'all. I've been practicing my reading since I've been gone, too. Niggas. <laughs> Okay, the only ones that's hating is the ones that can't read. Right. Listen, that I feel like I talk about this all the time though, mm-hmm. because I'm super optimistic about a lot of shit. I don't deny that negative shit can happen. So when it does happen, I'm not worried. I'm patient. Yeah. Um, but yes, I definitely believe that. But I think it's more what you say out loud and not just your thoughts, because mm-hmm. your thoughts are uncontrollable, they're mm-hmm. you know, passive, intrusive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't necessarily say thoughts, but like what you say out fucking loud, okay? The power of that tongue, mm-hmm. you know, that's what matters. And I don't care what you're talking about either. Yeah, um, I get that a lot because I always, I always say either I'm broke or something negative towards that way. And I get told all the time, you're not broke. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Broke is a mindset. Um, and I also saw a quote. I forgot who said the quote, but it says, don't ever say that you're broke or you're ugly because your brain doesn't know that you're playing. So when you're saying it, your brain starts working on it. So, yeah, law of attraction. Oh, yeah. I I wholeheartedly agree. It's kind of crazy how it works, too, or when you see it working. Because um, I'm going to say on the negative side that it felt like positive. Like a couple months after I graduated, I was like, man, I could afford to take six months off. And literally did just that by mm-hmm. force. You know, like at month four, I was like, oh, fuck no. Like, I got to start working. Like, I'm using all my savings. I didn't yeah. mean to say I, I said mm-hmm. I see I can do it. I know mm-hmm. I could, but I didn't really want to do that. Mm-hmm. And it just it shifted my world. Mm-hmm. OK, like I was humbled in so many different ways. Like I had to learn how to do shit differently and realize, OK, you know what? I spent a lot of money on nothing. Mm-hmm. If I wouldn't have been sat down like that, then I'd probably still be doing that, spending unnecessary money. So, mm-hmm. for the church people at home, because I don't know why y'all watch us, but y'all do. Pre- shout out to y'all. Hey, um, y'all. It's similar to when your grandparents or your mom tells you when you pray for something, be specific of what you're praying for. Mm. Okay, um, for the people who don't go to church as much, it's literally be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. You just might. Yeah. So. Yeah. Be careful with that because you can even like wish or pray for somebody to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. And they might end up dying. Yeah, they take them (laughs) out. That moment. Yeah, like so you gotta realize how covered you are and what kind of power you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um most uh not most famous, but a famous incident for that is Tupac. They said Tupac and Biggie wrote themselves out of this world from the the albums that they wrote, the songs that came out of it, like Pac talking about he already died and he came back to life. They said Pretty much, they manifest themselves to get the fuck on. What can I say? I I don't I don't a thousand percent agree, but yeah, a lot of people don't a thousand percent agree. But they said that's an example of it. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's hard to say because I don't know. Like, you can journal something. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it can literally have nothing to do with how you think like a week later. Mm. So I don't know. I'm I'm hard about things that are written down. I think mm. you're venting when you write things down. But when but, you try to like manifest, it's like it's just a different feeling. Yeah. But Biggie always said he didn't see himself going past 27. He said in like uh, in a gang of interviews, he was like, because he's like, how you will you see yourself in 10 years? He's like, I ain't gonna be here, dog. Like he, he literally would say that. He said that though. Yeah. So that's like, that's, that's taking yeah. yourself out of the game. Like mm-hmm. you're writing out, you're writing yourself out of the story this, automatically. It's possible, you know, unless something else is meant for you. But you know, because I used to say that. I used to say that a lot. Um, mm-hmm. I know growing up, I'm like, yo, I'm never gonna make it to 21. Like I, I tell people all the time because I, I lost a cousin. She when I was 17 and she just made it to 21. I like, bro, I'm not making it. And then all my friends were dying around me. Mm-hmm. And I was I, and literally on my 20th birthday going into 21, I sat on the porch in front of the, you know, in front of my mom's house. Mm-hmm. Just sat there. I didn't say shit to nobody. I just mind my business, petrified thinking this is it. Something's going to happen to me. And then I said, "Oh, okay, I made it to 21. I'm not going to make it to 22. Then I'm not going to make it here." Then I'm not going to make it there. So mm-hmm. then a lot of wild shit started happening to me, like near death experiences, because I'm like, yeah, I ain't going to make it. Mm-hmm. So I stopped saying that shit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah. then my life got a little better. And then, you know, of course, you know, I had my attempt. And then ever since then, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm on borrow time anyway. 
Like, I'm I'm here. You know what I mean? Like, thank you for the extra years. Well, that's the other thing, though. Like, you can have like a lot of power and manifest a lot of things that you want, and you can also try to manifest some things and they never happen. Mm -hmm. And I think for you, you were probably like anticipating. Mm -hmm. something negative happened because of you know what you see in your environment but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you like believe believe in the moment yeah. you were wondering about something it was like final destination there. <laughs> yeah like i get that but it's possible that those near-death experiences was the universe showing you like it's a no yeah. <laughs> okay like chill right yeah. Okay. Like, the fuck up, bro. Okay. Yeah. So don't forget, like it's it's other powers and things that that we can't see. Yeah. You know, and if it's not for you, like it's okay. Mm -hmm. The next thing will come. Just don't get stuck on trying to manifest one thing. Like right. be great at everything. Yeah, and that's like people who say, like you know, you have an admirer, right? <laughs> They'll tell themselves every day, like today's the day. I'm gonna talk to Shay. Okay. Me and Shay go have a long conversation. We're gonna fall in love. We're gonna have kids. We're gonna be married. We're gonna do all that shit. There's just people out there that do that every single day for this this week. <laughs> I'm gonna show you after. Okay. But yeah. yeah, they do this every day for their crush, and it never happens. And they keep the faith. Like, bless their heart. Cause after for a couple of times that shit don't work, bro. I, it well, just don't work. I got a problem with providing hope. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> uh -huh. I do say. I provide a lot of hope <sighs> and a lot of ghosting mm. after that. Yeah. yeah. Even when you ghost somebody, they still be having the faith, though. Oh, I know. Like I said, it happened this week. I'm going to show you later. But yeah. yeah, if somebody feels strongly enough, Mm -hmm. They will let me know they feelings. And yeah, and that be it though. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't uh, be saying how I feel. <laughs> so they have three main laws of attraction. Okay. All right. The first law is like attracts like. This law suggests that similar things are attracted to one another. It mm -hmm. means that people tend to attract people who are similar to them. But it also suggests that people's thoughts tend to attract similar results. Negative thinking is believed to attract negative experiences, while mm -hmm. positive thinking is believed to produce desirable experiences. Okay. You Break can it fake down. it. Break you it down, Tom. I definitely think that you can fake it, though. Mm -hmm. fake you it have to. Good. Mm -hmm. You have to sometimes. Like, people lose hope because they can't fake it. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Even though the world is fucking falling apart in front of you, you still be like, you know what? It's going to be all right. We're going to make it out of here. Yeah, don't psych yourself out. Psych yourself in. Mm hmm. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And good luck with that because it can be difficult. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I hate when people say good luck with that because it sounds so insincere when people say <laughs> no, I, I, that's I why you mean it. it could be hard no, I know you mean it but it was like yeah you, like, yeah, you can do it da, 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 da. good luck with that because <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe right <laughs> yeah all right uh nature arbors a vacuum this law suggests that removing negative things from your life can make space for more positive things to take its place. Mm -hmm. It is based on the notion that it is impossible to have a completely empty space in your mind and in your life, since something will always fill that space. It is important to fill that space up with positivity. I don't know what that word is. But fuck it. <laughs> it's, uh, proponents. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Positivity. Proponents of this philosophy says. Look at me learning words on the fly. <laughs> I feel like I need you to read it one more time. Motherfucker. <laughs> First, like, sentence. Okay. So, this law 
of attraction suggests that removing negative things from your life correct space for positive things to take its place. Mm -hmm. so the only thing that I don't like about this entire thing is that mm -hmm. it doesn't talk about the space being unfilled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can't say that it never exists because it is there. You said it mm -hmm. constantly be filled. That means it gets emptied at some point. But anyway, mm -hmm. I may be thinking too deep into it. But yes, if you remove toxic bullshit out your life, mm -hmm. okay, you will watch things get better. You will have more opportunities like just fall out the sky checks coming out of nowhere okay um it's just it's very real yeah. just try it just try yeah. it. remove like it's, it's, one negative person or one negative thing and you'll see right. the difference so for the people at home um if let's say you're hanging out with the wrong crowd right boom you're doing you're your, living like mm -hmm. huh yeah, people still, still do that. Yeah, people still do that. You hang out with the wrong crowd, right? But you, you want to do something different from that crowd, but you're still hanging out with them. The person that wants to help you wants to help you, but they see who you hanging out with, and they're like, you know what? I don't need that type of negativity, so I'm gonna leave you alone. You leave those <laughs> negative people alone. That positive person comes in your life. He's like, I can help you now because you're not dealing with the nonsense that you once were. That's basically the the, the concept of that. My first thing is fuck you to that positive person um, <laughs> because it's unfair to be so positive yet judge and walk away and then want to come back when I'm doing mm -hmm. better. Like, yeah. But they don't want you to waste that opportunity because if I give you the opportunity and you still hanging out with them, you might fumble that shit. Try and see, you know? Yeah. There's possibilities with everybody. Like, you only going to know if you can like trust somebody if you put them in certain situations. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't have any trust from the beginning, then I definitely say like, fuck you and your fake ass positivity. <laughs> okay. So basically for other folks, um, <laughs> other people. <laughs> take the negative niggas out. Positive shit going to come in. But, um, no, so <laughs> the laws of <laughs> the laws of thought and attraction is energy. And if you are a science nerd of any kind, you know that them two shits can't be in the same place at the same time. And it cannot be destroyed nor created. So all it's gonna do is keep moving till we can find it a space to sit in. Mm. Mm -hmm. The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, right. that's an interesting way to put that. I think the philosophy of it all is, if you think it, mm -hmm. you can achieve it. <laughs> hey, look at us yeah. back in the eighties. <laughs> okay, but don't depend on like what you can do for yourself for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Do what you can do for you because you want to see you succeed because you want to see something different. Like, don't do it just because, oh, let me get this positive person back in my life. They ain't the only motherfucker around here. Okay. Right. More people will find you. I mm -hmm. promise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, the one time that this shit was in reverse was when Puffy met Big and he told Big to leave the streets and Big didn't leave the streets. But Puffy still fucked with him and Big became big. So there are exceptions to the rules. That's, that's Listen, I got people that I love dearly. Okay. Like just because they're not on the same level as me doesn't mean that I just really, really can't fuck with them no more. Mm -hmm. If they bring it harm to my life, then I know how to move around. Right. You know, but I definitely have love for certain people for certain reasons. Um, but I'm not here to compare lives. Okay, right. if you mean something to me, then you can definitely stay. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay, I don't care what you do. You can be the homeless man that I see every other week. Okay, if you mean something to me, I'm gonna look for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, that that cool homeless nigga. Yo, you gotta keep one of those because yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll do anything for you. I know. Hey, watch my car real quick. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> They yeah. fuck around. They'll fuck around and take somebody out the story too for you if you ask them. No, literally, it's just so hard to judge from yeah. from any point. So, you know, and then you never know when somebody's gonna be doing better than you either. So, you know, yeah. 
Yeah, people get shit at different times in their lives. Mm -hmm. You mind your fucking business. That's it. Okay. Yeah. That's it. And <laughs> the, the third law, the present is always perfect. This law focuses on the idea that there are always things that you can improve on the present moment. While it might always seem like the present is somehow flawed, this law proposes that rather than feeling dread or unhappiness, you should focus on your energy on finding ways to make the present moment the best it can be. This is what Shay tells me every fucking time I call her upset. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like this shit is not working. This fucking podcast shit ain't working. Da, 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 da. He's like, well, focus on what is working. And then <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, making it sound goddamn easy. <laughs> like you ain't got no problem. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's okay. We we humans, we malfunction all the time for whatever reason. So yeah. <laughs> not me though, because apparently my presence is perfect i've been when not when you said that my mind went somewhere else because okay. i was thinking like if your present is always perfect then it's just a point of reference to mm. look at your past and your progress and see how far you come so i could definitely say in this moment yes everything is perfect for the ideas and shit that i had about what i'm doing today <laughs> i'm here Yep. It happened, so that that is perfect. But um, mm, you can take it in so many ways, though. But that's how I took it. Okay. Can't complain. Could want to. <laughs> Ain't got no reason to. I asked for this. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I asked for mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So. Can't complain. I could, but I don't want to. Ain't gonna ain't gonna change nothing for you. That would uh -uh. tell me all the time. I can't complain. <laughs> Ain't gonna change nothing if I do. So just gonna keep it moving. It could change something, yeah. you know, because when you complain, you're definitely dealing with like frustration. So you may say some shit in the moment that it's not gonna matter tomorrow. And I'll be trying to like manifest that. Right. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that. What you say when you upset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 And who you say it to. Who that matters. Mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. They'll take that energy and go somewhere else with it. So, yeah, you better go talk to your source. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, so basically, people, <sighs> positive energy, positive fucking energy. Keep it positive. Don't don't have, leave space for negative to come in. Because it's gonna, if it does, it's gonna sit there. Negative space, negative energy sits longer than positive, all the time, all the time. No matter how happy you are, negative sits there way longer. Okay. Because it's, it's I've seen it a million times. Like these niggas, Kevin Hart, all them niggas, millions and millions of followers. All these niggas saying, "I love you, I love you, I love you." That one motherfucker that says, "You ain't funny," or. Nigga, why y'all fucking with this nigga? Mm -hmm. That all this nigga is more than anything else. It could. It does. I'm sure it, it mm -hmm. can for sure. But that's the other thing. Like, yes, like think positive, like be optimistic about situations. But here's the other thing. Every single day is not meant to be perfect. Nope. Okay. No. You can't have a good day without having fucked up days. Your appreciation is different. Like, damn, I'm having a good day. And you realize it. And also realize how many bad days you have. But like, bad days, for some people, it's okay to sit in it. It's okay for you to cry that day. It's okay for you to have a meltdown. It's okay for you to be upset. It's all okay. But make it a temporary fix as well. You don't have to like last, you know what I'm saying? Because of course that's going to lead to like depressive symptoms, maybe isolation, all that shit. But it is okay to have a bad day. You are not exempt. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is life we're dealing with. You are not exempt from shit. Be positive. Think 
you know, healthier thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you are a human being. You're not a robot. So if you do have a bad thought, if you do say something bad out loud, it's not the end of the world. You just watch, you know what I'm saying? What that does for you or how it changes you. So going back to me saying like, yeah, I can afford to take six months off. I could. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. But it also projected me into different directions where I am extremely successful and I can put all of my money back that I took out of my savings. So yeah, be patient with life. Okay. You know what? Be specific. <laughs> Sunshine and rain. Joy. Come on, come on. And rain. That's all it is. They've been talking about it forever. Even the little, <laughs> little African boy. Yeah. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. Oh. Sunshine. Ah. Thank you for rain. It's a beautiful day. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the same fucking song? Wait the fuck up! Hey, <laughs> Inspiration is everything. Nigga, that's cracked the code for your ass, right? Mm, there you go. You are welcome. Because who knew? Golly, I just learned today that song, um, Back to Life, Back to, is about a woman who literally came back to life. Like, this wasn't like no love song. This was her talking to her source or her God, her higher power. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm back. However do you want me? However do you need me? Like, what's good? What do you, what do you want me to do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> talking about that song yesterday. Nigga. Yesterday. Right. Yeah, that's her talking to God. Wow. Because she died and came back to life. And whatever her existential experiences was, like, she put that in music. And then Mary J. Blige made it like a fucking drug dealer anthem. Well, that's weird. Yeah. That's okay. The, uh, that's the, the intro to Belly. The Mary J. Blige version. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting at the top of the globe. Drug dealers anthem. Yep. I don't like that. Yeah. I'm going to keep going with the version that I. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for those that at home who want to know how to use these laws of power, I have a couple of things here. Be grateful for everything that happens to you, mm -hmm. big or small. Mm -hmm. Visualize your goals because you have a focus. You have no point of having negativity in your ear. Uh, look out for positives in every situation that you're in. Yes, if that nigga leaves you after 10 years. Guess That's what? A good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. If the motherfucker cut your lights off, That's you're probably watching thing. too much goddamn TV. So then you probably had to focus on some more other shit. All right. That's a good thing. Yep. Hopefully it'll cause you to be more organized and mm -hmm. make sure that you remember when your bill is due. Exactly. Only take one time. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Um, learn how to identify when you're thinking negative because mm. that's for people with depression. We learn that shit early. Those are the triggers. We learn mm. how to like, oh, that no, we ain't fucking with it. Move on. Where so, were you? What were you doing? What mm -hmm. were you thinking about? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then uh the last one is reframe negative events into more positive ways. Basically, see the good in the bad shit. Like we were saying earlier. Oh, reframing. Well, CBT. Mm -hmm. And they, they got some other shit here. If you wanted to see the whole article, it's on verywellmind.com. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put it down here somewhere. Um, they have like how you use it in relationships, how to use it at work, how you use it with money. 
the impact, the spiritual effects, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Okay. You're pretty much telling people y'all need to go read something. Yeah. I can you okay. see I learned how to read, y'all. Y'all see that, right? I knew I was fucking up earlier. I learned how to read. If it speaks to you, then definitely dive a little bit deeper. Mm-hmm. And the deeper you go, the more knowledge that you have, and the more knowledge that you have, like the less time for negative mm-hmm. shit that you will have too. So good luck with y'all's journey. And uh I know what y'all saying. What? Me and Shay could have got way deeper with this, but we're two Aquariuses, so you're only getting an hour out of us. Um, and we can talk for like seven hours on this whole shit. So, um. <laughs> yeah, in in real life, all yeah. I need is like a bag of chips. That's, so, it. Yeah. That's it. So, um, we, we just give y'all a little glimpse of everything. Then you all go out in the world and go look at it yourself. And if you think we said something wrong or we missed something. Put it in the comments. Stop DMing us, nigga. Put it in the comments so we can see it and then YouTube can see it and they're like, oh, they listening to y'all motherfuckers. Because I do listen. I respond pretty quickly. Yeah, she does. Very yeah. much. Yeah. So, um, Twin. Yeah. You want to tell them what's about to happen? Or, or nope. you don't want to tell them? No? Okay. I don't want to tell them yet. Oh, shit. We going to manifest that and then okay. Positive. It's gonna be, yeah. Ooh, but I'm yeah. telling y'all for the right price, I might give you a clue. I'm letting you know that right now. I, well, how much? I am I am a tequila man and a whiskey man. So for the <laughs> right bottle, you might get a clue. But something's coming. Y'all just buy me food. There you go. See, maybe something's coming. I don't know. We're gonna yeah. manifest it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Get us out of here, sis. <laughs> All right, y'all. Listen, thank you for tuning in. Okay, now that we are back. Um, oh, you know what? To be honest, now I feel like I don't know what the hell you're talking about because I was just about to say something. Well, I'm a, well I don't think it's that important what I'm gonna say. Well, we yeah. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. You know, I'm sorry. No, that's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about something else. Okay. okay. Now I do know what you was talking about. Yeah, that's okay. what I was talking about. Just edit that out. Okay, my bad. All right, y'all. <laughs> so, I told y'all for the bottle. I got y'all. Okay. Okay. We definitely appreciate y'all tuning in since you've been out. Um, <laughs> Next time, I feel like we definitely going to, you know, get the ball rolling with cracking the code and mm-hmm. giving y'all like some true crime um mm-hmm. updates and stories and shit like that so we are everything podcast we are an everything podcast so that's why tequila and champagne makes the most sense mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah so if y'all don't fuck with us we don't give a fuck there's so many other podcasts that you can listen to <laughs> under Kids, okay so shout out to the gang SMG gang 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 no I don't see y'all on Sundays but I I support y'all. I ride for y'all. I fuck with y'all. And I'm sorry if I'm not following most of you. Anyway, um, okay. The the drink was definitely red wine, Stella Rose Black. It's muy 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 delicioso, and it's working right now. So yeah, yeah we can't um, even name it because it's just it's just Stella Rose Black. Stella Rose Black. Yeah, it's good to me. But that's anyway. what we called it. It's good to me. There you go. <laughs> anyway, we missed y'all. So, you know, yeah. y'all know where to find us. Tequila. Mm-hmm. Champagne. Pod. Me at S H A E underscore L A R A U N. I'm the one with the fro and the green heart. You can find Pablo on at least 108 different things. But you type in Sarkar. Well, 109 now. Come, I'm on the uh, thread app. Well, look at God. I didn't even <laughs> include that. Huh? <laughs> Um, something personal that I that I definitely have coming up. No, I ain't gonna tell y'all. Fuck that. I'm waiting for confirmation. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. I thought about it, but no. Bruh, get her some tacos, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, we in there. Give me some tacos. So yeah, tacos with a big ass bottle or something. Nah. <laughs> in real life, so uh-huh. yeah. Fuck with us or Just don't. don't call her out loud <laughs> in the street because she's gonna keep walking. <laughs> Episode six, y'all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs>
to the people that I that I know and that I love dearly. I'm so, so sorry. <clears throat> yeah. But all right, y'all. Till next time. If you don't say it. What? What I got to say? Oh, wow. Is, sorry. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>